I'm home court, she's standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was Basically, I think well Suge rolled up at the um at the set first. They were shooting a promo for the film. And that's when and Bone Bone was kind of there as to help Mm-hmm. manage those situations, mm-hmm. right? And so was, for that matter, so was Terry Carter. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what he did. He's kind of, he knows everybody, can right. make peace with everybody, can iron things out, you know? And I think that that bone was like, they were the ones that were like, hey, let's, don't call, nobody call, don't call the police, don't call the police, let's go handle this, we'll talk it out over at Tam's, mm-hmm. meet us over there. And that's that that was about. But then, clearly a physical altercation happens, and yeah. I can't remember, words were said that yeah. instigate, I think, I think Suge talked shit about somebody right. who was, in the vicinity, like right. kind of, I know he's going to hear me say this. Right. And that's what started the, yeah. the altercation. And Bone kind of admitted to having a little bit of a, a grievance with Shug, mm-hmm. too. You know what I mean? So it may have just been, you know, some posturing that, that, that you know, went left, you know. And, right. And, and, but Suge was on bullshit, though. Suge was up there trying to press folk, you know, because he wanted some more money and yep. different things like that. So, you know, he was doing more of that bullshit. You know, you, you if it's business, then you send your lawyer. You know, right? You, it's exactly. a way to handle business. You know, so. and I think that's what Puff figured out that should yeah. never figured out. Right, right. You know, yeah. so unfortunately, you know, he 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 became a victim of his own you know circumstance and choices, mm-hmm. and as he been doing. But you know, I try not to. I don't like to beat up on Suge. I think that right. you know we all make mistakes. All of us fall short, and mm-hmm. you know have to work on ourselves and hopefully he gets parole before you know i think he is i think he will probably before he's you know know what's crazy too is i think i think if there hadn't been for the other cases i think Mm -hmm. he could have beat the terry carter thing as self-defense accident i think he could have i think he would have been okay but the sentence wouldn't have been enhanced either right because of the other cases so even if he got manslaughter or something Mm -hmm. it may have not been what he got what he ended up getting right you know which is too bad so you know. But then there was the whole thing with like his, his girlfriend or somebody gets busted for selling that tape, yeah. TMZ, or, right. you know, which is how we all got the security footage right. of the incident. Right. And then, you know, there's other stuff that was happening that was just, and he kept switching lawyers around. Yeah. And it was just like, Mesereau was involved. And all those moves come back to desperation. You know right. what I mean? Here right. you have a half a billion dollar company that was lost, you know, to Hasbro, you <laughs> know, through default. Right. You know what I mean? And his girlfriend is making, you know, poor choices because money. You know, he's up there pressing because he need a dollar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it all comes back to just poor choices and desperation, unfortunately.